Okay, for this um, box, we're going to start with the color side up and fold in thirds, turn it over, and then uh, fold these corners in along the one-third marks. Then I'm going to um, fold one more time against this triangle, like so, and so for each corner. We're just folding the corner to the very middle, and I don't have it marked, but you, uh, if you'd like to mark it to make sure it's absolutely the center, you can do that. Okay, I have those uh, marked. And then um, I'm going to fold this to the middle. So I'm going to take the edge and fold it to my one-third mark there. Now, if you invert this, like most boxes, uh, you can have the pattern on the inside of the box and so just reverse it and give it a try see if you like that better okay now that I've got that folded I'm going to fold once more to the line just created so this is going to be my rim um, and this will hide or conceal the raw edge of the paper so this particular uh, paper doesn't print clear to the edge because it came out of my laser printer and so this will conceal that edge and won't see it at all same thing on this side, look good there. And then it's a little hard to see but um, with this pattern paper, but I'm also going to fold uh, exactly across from the intersection where this uh, paper is. I mean, I can open it up, it's a little bit easier to see. Since I'm just creating a, uh, a perfect square on those corners. Before I crease, I'm just checking to make sure I'm not uh, exceeding the, uh, the amount that I wanted to fold. There we go, so I've got that pattern. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fold these back the way they were. Now, what I want to do is I want a um, I want a, basically an X across this end square. So you can just take the edge and go straight to the corner and make that crease. And then same thing on the other side. Okay, just take my corner, pull it right to the opposite corner and crease. And I'm not going through the outside of the box, just that one square in the middle. Make sure I got that. I'm a little bit off here. Let's see if I can fix it just a little bit. If you go slow and accurately, you get a better box every time. Okay, so I, I just had a little error there, so in, I didn't follow my diagram. Um, we're going to flip the base over. We're going to flip this over, so when we're finished with the box, this is going to be the inside, so you'll see the pattern, and the bottom of the box will just be the white. So you can do it either way you want, but this wasn't paying attention to my uh, diagram. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our base and fold it up, and then follow the same exact procedure. There's one side of the X, here's the other side, and I'm just going to fold this down to make a, a crease, and then once again, I'm just going to repeat this now uh, back from the beginning so it's very easy to fold it at this point. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold this tip underneath the underlying rim and it will conceal the raw edge and it will make a nice little um, diamond shape or color here at the end of the box. And if you want, you can reverse fold this first if you want to see exactly where that crease is going to be. We're going to basically conceal this little edge underneath. And it'll, you know, kind of uh, secure the box. It'll make it so it won't flop open very easily. And there's the end of the box. 
do the same thing on the other side, see if we can make it a little bit easier. I'm just gonna fold here, make sure I've got my original crease there. And holding one edge down. Open it back up, same thing the other way. piece here. Now we're going to fold this corner under, securing it, and you get your diamond shape there. but you can tell from looking at this that there is a tiny exposed edge right here because you can see wherever the edge of the paper was. But if you uh, fold the opposite way from the beginning, um, it'll be the pattern on the outside and the white on the inner side, and then this will be all white, so you can't actually see that little piece. But anyway, here's the little box. It's a handy little box for sticking. It's called the Diamante, or Diamond Box. And uh, there you go.